Hey guys and gals, this is Femi here from New Persona and I hope you're having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be on how to do a lunge. Now, usually when I'm teaching people how to do lunges, what really matters most to me is teaching you how to do it static or non-moving in the beginning. The reason why is when you start adding in walking lunges and other variations like that, your stability begins to change greatly. It's a lot harder to stay balanced and secure when it comes to core, posture, and joint health when you start adding in walking lunges into the mix. So when I'm teaching my members, or I'm teaching other clients, when you're doing a lunge, do it static. Start off standing in the same spot, step forward and return back to starting position. So what you're gonna see is a couple video highlights of me doing the walking lunge, or the correction, the standing lunge, so that you can work on your form, but you can make this very challenging by adding weights making it more difficult for you to actually make complete the movement. So enjoy, post questions below, feel free to subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you on the other side. All right, so we're focusing right now on the static standing lunge. One of my favorite exercises to build up leg strength. A couple things for you to keep in mind. As you are doing the lunge, make sure you have enough distance as you step forward. Usually what I focus on is trying to keep my feet shoulder width apart, step forward so that I have enough distance that my knee bent is roughly about 90 degrees. You wanna make sure you have enough stress on the quad that will help develop strength and stability, and then you have some more stability in the lower leg. What I also try to focus on is making sure my back knee comes close to the floor. It doesn't have to touch the floor, but just make sure you're balanced and secure. Returning back to starting position and then just rotating legs. Once again, you can do this with the same leg, straight, 12 reps or whatever the rep number is, or you can also alternate it. So it just depends on what your goal is for the training day and what your coach may be advising you to do. Once again, this is one of my favorite leg exercises right next to squats. So have fun, play around with it.